If you consider the Jedi during the Republic era, when Palpatine came to power, the Jedi were not able to sense the future accurately as before. This was just the start. They admit that the dark side clouds everything and the future is clouded. This was just the beginning of their downfall. Yoda also says that the dark side clouds everything. Impossible to see the future is. So he means that the dark side is on the rise and the force is heading towards a major imbalance. That's why the Jedi put all their trust in Anakin to bring balance to the force. Even the second most powerful member of the Jedi Council, Mace Windu says this. I think it is time we inform the Senate that our ability to use the force is diminished. Only the Dark Lord of the Sith knows of our weakness. If informed the Senate is, multiply our adversaries will. I think this was just the beginning. During the Clone Wars, the Jedi Masters could not even sense the Dark Lord of the Sith sitting right in front of them. After Order 66, when almost all the Jedi were wiped out, the Force is at an extreme imbalance. Imagine a black hole sucking all the light set of the Force onto itself. In the Star Wars universe, this is a very important moment because as we all know the force is a mystical energy field that surrounds and binds everything. So any Jedi who uses the light set of the force is left weak. And if you observe, Obi-Wan was not that old around the time Kenobi was released. It has been only 10 years and this is because he is not using the force. But at the end of the show he is shown to have started to use the force and 10 years later he looks like this. He looks much older than he should be. So guys think about this. The philosophy of dark side is that it is a kind of a black hole which sucks all the light side of the force onto oneself to make one more powerful. So whatever Jedi who remain, if they continue to draw on the light side of the force which is an indirect attempt to correct the imbalance created by the Sith Lords. When this happens, the Sith Lords Darth Sidious and Darth Vader notice it and they make sure an imbalance is always in place which makes the users of the light side weaker and weaker. At the start of the Clone Wars, the Jedi could not sense the future. Next, they could not even sense the Dark Lord sitting in front of them and they could not do anything about Order 66. So after Order 66, the Sith were so powerful, they almost tipped the balance in the force. So if you extrapolate how Jedi were using the force around Clone Wars time, and around New Hope, their ability to use the Force has considerably dropped. I think the dark side of the Force is virtually draining out the light side and it is taking a toll on the remaining Jedi like Obi-Wan and Yoda which made them older than they should look. If you take a look at Yoda around the time of Revenge of the Sith, he was kicking ass during the Senate battle against Darth Sidious. Matt Stover described Yoda in his novel as the most devastatingly powerful foe the dark side has ever known. This happened while he was about 800 years old. So now we need to ask ourselves like why the hell in just 20 years, which is nothing for him, Yoda becomes so old and he dies during Return of the Jedi. So in the Star Wars novel Darth Plagueis, when Plagueis and Sidious performed a meditation to win over the Force itself, they tipped the balance so much that the Force created Anakin to restore balance. So now that Anakin himself has embraced the dark side, the balance is tipped extremely towards the dark side of the force. In an extreme scenario, if the dark side becomes even more powerful, the Sith can start sucking the life forces of sentient beings because all things are touched by the force. Food for thought guys, let me know on the comments below if you like this idea of imbalance in the force causing weaker Jedi and making them age faster. I hope you like the content so if you do please like and subscribe to the channel and may the force be with you always.